Well, I'm headed to town, I guess. Uh, that's where I decided to go. I gotta go pay an electric bill, get some dog treats, and uh, check out the day. I guess it's about two o'clock. Oh, my son is moving to uh, another state, state of Washington State, I think it is. That's where he said, anyways. Knock that door, always keep the passenger side locked. All right, I'm on the damn road. But I was sitting here thinking, other than earlier today, how many people have we known in our lifetimes? And I've lived a long life. And then I thought, uh, in remembrance of the people that uh, has passed away in my lifetime. Inside cell, I don't care. Uh, and that was a lot. Now I've known a lot, fought in two wars, that died, I worked in a morgue. Uh, my job in one of the militaries was bagging dead bodies, so I met a lot of them. But actually people I knew, got acquainted with, relatives. There's not very much of my relatives left. Actually, they're all past, most of them's passed away. I just got a few close uh, siblings left. All my uncles and aunts have been gone, gone. Uh, I've lost two children. I've lost all my friends. They've all, well, old friends, I would say high school, college friends. Uh, they're all dead. Uh, there might be a few college friends still alive. But most of my high school and junior high school, yeah, they've already passed away. Sort of feel lonely, you know. You feel, sort of feel like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here by myself. Oh, I know I've got kids, and I've got grandkids, and I've got great-grandkids, and great-great-grandkids, and all that stuff that goes with that. But close friends, you know, the ones you went to school with. And uh, I'm sure I'm, there's more of them out there than me. But I don't stay in contact if there is any. But I keep it a close eye where I went to high school and uh, where I went to college. And there's just really none of them left. I think there's, I've got two college, you know, you get a year, uh, when you get a f uh, 10 year, 20 year, 30 year, 40 year, 50 year, and all that other shit, the 60 year reunions, then they start combining them. After, uh, I think it's after 50 years, they start combining your f uh, f 60 with your 70 years and all that other shit, you know, they start combining, because I know they want to be few of them left. Uh, that's like I said, there's just, now there's more buddies. I, I, my last real close friend was Jerry. He was my gunner on a helicopter. You know, a kid that hang out the damn window and didn't have enough damn sense, didn't think he's going to, thought he's going to live forever. And I think the life expectancy of a helicopter gunnery that hang out the damn window and shoot a damn 50 caliber machine gun was about 18 days, but he lived. He passed away last year, I think it was. Back to know it was. Miss him too terribly, good friend. There, he got married, I don't know how many times. <laughs> I guess six, seven, eight times. He's quite a character. Never had no kids. I think he couldn't have no kids. But damn, that didn't keep that old boy from trying, let me tell you. <laughs> he was married about seven times, and I think he had 150 girlfriends. Even when he got older, he was, he was something else. But anyway, uh, he'd come to my house for Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter. We'd go get him. You know, all the holidays he had to come to my house. He was like the kid's uncle. And we treated him as such. And then I had a friend that I worked with for 20 years at the lab. He moved home to Greece. He's, he's quite a friend. I've been to see him in Greece. 
But, uh, you know, he's still alive, young enough. He's quite a bit younger than me. He's probably, I don't know, 10, 15 years younger than uh, Let's see, he's almost 20 years younger. But anyway, uh, he's retired. He moved back home to Greece. Him and his sister moved with him. Greece's sister, they own a big apartment complex like a Hilton Inn. You know, when you, in Athens, when you go to Athens, you can go visit him and his home. Uh, I don't know, apartments or hotel is what I call it. He has some permanent residents, but most of them are check in, check out for every week or two or whatever, three days or something like that. But it was enjoyable, I enjoyed it. But you miss them. After a while, you get to missing your old friend. Something to talk about. The older the friend, I guess, the more you miss them. You know, the kids that you knew in uh, grade school, I guess they are there. I don't know any of them anymore. Junior high, I didn't do much junior high, but high school, yeah, I remember some of them. Uh, I went to school in San Bernardino High, out there in California, back in the day. Uh, let's see. And uh, I lived out by the Salton Sea. On one side of it, they all, they're talking, they always talk about Slab City, well, hell, it was a military base, and I lived there. We lived on the other side of Salt and Sea by Moreland. Moreland, California, right by, uh, let's see, Brawley, California. If you trolls want to look that up, there you'd be something interesting. Uh, but no, I miss them. I miss talking to some of my deepest friends. I go to see my sisters, and I visit. I love, we sit up almost all night talking about, you know, Things when we was a kid, places we went and seen, and everything else when we was kids. I don't have much to do with church people. I got a brother I don't do much with, another sister I don't do with. They're in the church, and their way of life is not my way of life. And, da, 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 and I just, I see them on occasion, usually when somebody dies in the church. I dress up and go to church. Interesting, but uh, like I said, you you don't talk to them about you know uh, everyday things or whatever. You know you sort of. But my other two sisters, I talk to quite often. I only got one in lives in Jones, America. I talk to all the time. She's one. She's talking about moving in with me, or I'm moving in with her. We should go get our other twin sister and move in. I have a buy us a damn uh, compound and live in it. I said, well, hell, it'd be built like an age. Each each one of us buy one age. Well, why don't we just build one? Three stories high and about, I don't know, 150 foot long and has four sides to it. Each family lives on one side. I said, I said, ain't that sort of like the church? That's what I told her. I said, well, ain't, ain't that sort of like the, how the church lives? They all live in the same damn that type of house. They all live same damn acreage of farms and everything else. The barns are all built alike, all that. Is. I said, I don't think we're ready for that. But anyway, I, like I said, we're sitting there and I want to go, I thought about going out with my son to Washington. I think it's Olympia, Washington, somewhere like that. Uh, and ride out there with him. And I said, well, the only reason I probably wouldn't go right now is cold. And, uh, I uh, I took the pu I wouldn't go nowhere without Oreo, and I don't know where my daughter's up to take care of baby and the other two little pups, which they're almost grown. In fact, I need to go there. I don't know how, but they're born in September, October, November, December, January. They're eight, six months old. When they're six months old, I gotta go get them their rabies shot. Uh, so I couldn't take them. But anyway, like I said, here I am talking and just talking. But uh, I miss my old friends. If you got old friends, people, call, give them a damn call. Talk to them. Laugh about the good old days, even if they're people you worked with, you know, just work relation friends. You know, give them a call, especially if they're retired or whatever. They'd be glad to see what the hell you're up to. That's my damn granddaughter working. Damn kid walking, little girl. I was sure my damn granddaughter she walking. 
her hair. She don't even live here. She lives up in uh, Stillwater. But anyway, I uh, advise everybody to give their old friends a call, talk to them, and enjoy your, just enjoy the good old days. Talk to you later.